Hi everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be the daily message for October the 14th. Keep in mind, timing and energy is fluid. Not every reading is going to be for you, so please do only take the messages that resonate and leave behind the rest. 14 is a karmic debt number again today. So 14 is all about freedom, change, embracing changes. So let's see what kind of a message needs to come through for the collective today. Please do feel free to hit that subscribe button to join the channel. Like, comment, share the videos to help circulate them to help the channel grow. And let's see what kind of a message needs to come through today. For the collective okay bottom of the deck surrender so be willing to surrender be willing to release anything that really has held you back from stepping into a new experience i i feel the energy really is pushing um for you to be in the flow to kind of just uh let the energies come and go as they as they um are kind of working their way around you because i feel the divine really is pushing you in a new direction and i do believe there is somebody here that is definitely needing to take accountability for their life. A big part of the healing journey really is about taking accountability, looking at yourself in the mirror without blame, without filter, and really taking total ownership of everything that's transpired in the past so you can fully release the ego and step into the future. Once again, we got that divine masculine energy coming out. So I do feel there's been a lack of accountability when it comes to a masculine um, when it comes to this reading. And I feel there is a masculine here getting ready to assert his logic to kind of exhibit um, a sense of strength in order for progression forward. So I do feel somebody's been stuck, not wanting to take accountability, not wanting to kind of look in that divine mirror um, and to take ownership of something. So let's see what else needs to come through when it comes to this message today. We'll see what other energies need to come through when it comes to this accountability and surrendering the ego. I feel a lot of resistance to the energy. But with the fates that just popped out, I do feel get ready because I... We got the building blocks flipped out in reverse. That's feeling like a tower energy. It is a 28 card breaking down to a 10, which is speaking of cycles, closing out cycles. I do feel somebody here that has lacked accountability when it comes to building a solid foundation. And I feel there's a lot of faded energy again today when it comes to a loyal heart, a loyal partnership, a soulmate connection. Absolutely. And somebody here is at the crossroads at a fork in the road. And then these two just flipped out. So there might be a moment of pause um, to kind of reevaluate everything that's going on as somebody kind of steps into that co-creative journey. And I do feel regeneration on the horizon and a lot of changes taking place um, because somebody is at that crossroads. And this is a 13, which is all about shedding the old to bring in the new. I do feel a lot of purification in the energies as somebody kind of breaks free from a false foundation that they've created for themselves. Bottom of the deck, discernment. So I feel the energy really is pushing a masculine to utilize his discernment to kind of see... Um, the picture what's going on all of all around him when it comes to the people and the places that he's connected with because i do feel somebody here is encouraged to detach from any drama or any falsities okay we got three right out the gate communication is key in the energies and i feel the universe really is pushing a masculine um to communicate his truth to speak with clarity and from that heart-based energy and i feel it is through the heart that we always find that center of truth. So I do feel heart blockages in the energy. And then we got delight, which is karmic debt energy. It is also the sun energy, the happiest energy in the deck. And I associate 19 with the fall of the ego. And I feel maybe somebody here really has created a full sense of security for themselves. And it's really prevented a masculine, I feel from stepping into intense joy, intense happiness. And I feel the energy really is evoking this masculine to speak that truth, especially when it comes to a romantic partnership, when it comes to a loyal, committed partnership. So I feel the energy really is supporting a masculine to kind of journey 
into that sense of feeling whole and complete without any external with external um sources and i feel there's a lot of mirror reflection in the energy when it comes to opening up to being a conscious lover and and Merkaba again today so a lot of activations when it comes to supporting our ability to heal in the energy so i think get ready the energy really is merging and i do believe it is a faded destined um relationship here that is being divinely guided back together a complete regeneration the burning away of the old in order to build from that ground zero to close out a cycle when it comes to this connection so let's jump in with the tarot and see what other messages need to come through when it comes to this reading today all right first card out seven of cups disillusionment perhaps fogginess unsure of which direction to go in i feel there's a lot of confusion in the energy and somebody's really needing to use their discernment when it comes to choosing a direction we do have the star that just flipped out with the sun. So this is beautiful. I do feel a lot of healing in the energies um, as somebody really does kind of break free from whatever illusions really have kept them in a toxic situation. And um, happier times are on the way. And I feel a lot of illumination. This is all about wishes being granted. So could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Leo. It doesn't have to be. But there has been a level of deception. Somebody really wanting to win at all costs. Um, really trying to manipulate the energies is what I feel. And there's that fork in the road with this Five of Swords. I feel somebody was at the fork in the road for quite some time. Seeking that truth. Seeking that clarity. Because it's mirroring the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So I feel somebody's put a lot of time and effort into a foundation that really hasn't brought them a lot of stability and a lot of security and they've clung to control um for this need and desire to win and i feel somebody here is getting ready to come forward with that truth he's got that that sort of truth in the ground if you can see that and i do feel there's been some healing in the energies and i feel the time is now for um a decision to be made when it comes to this crossroads there's going to be a need to really be honest with yourself. The central energy is the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this Queen of Swords um, is really embodying a lot of authentic energy, I feel. A lot of purification, a lot of spiritual communication in and around this Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords also has turned her back to this deceptive energy is what I feel. She's looking in another direction. So I feel if there is a divine masculine needing to approach this Queen of Swords, he better come with the whole truth and nothing but the truth because the Queen of Swords does utilize discernment. Um, she won't accept anything less than, than the total truth, honest, open, authentic communication. Um, the Queen of Swords is the total embodiment of um, authenticity. And the Queen of Swords can also be very cold and detached because she's been hurt so many times before. So I do feel, once again, a lot of faded energy um, when it comes to this message today. And I think somebody's getting ready to have a tower moment. I feel this tower might have been avoided um, up until now, but it can't be avoided anymore. This is going to be a sudden turn of events. It's really, it's really just a confirmation of those building blocks in reverse. So somebody built a false, a false, um, a false sense of security and it's all crumbling i also feel like a huge internal shift in order for somebody to go in a new direction the universe is trying to bring in an abundant new beginning but somebody has to choose to walk through that gateway of abundance and um we have the empress reversed right below the five of swords Ooh, <laughs> the queen of wands we got a couple of queens here on the board and the five of wands. So I do feel a karmic feminine energy that really has tried to create um, an illusion uh, surrounding this divine masculine. Um, when the masculine energy comes out, I feel, and the queen of wands, that to me is my karmic energy, especially with the empress reversed right beside there. So this is a feminine energy that does not know her worth, does not know her value. She does not love unconditionally. She loves with restrictions, conditions. She's she's controlling she's manipulative 
Um, she'll do anything to win at all costs. And I feel there is a karmic feminine energy that has tried to keep this masculine from taking action towards this queen of swords is what I'm feeling. We do have Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the queen of swords, and then Aries, Leo, Sag. But I do feel somebody here really is wanting to just pick a fight is kind of what I feel which is going to in turn create a massive tower. I feel a masculine that's been deep in confusion and disillusionment, um, trying to appease this empress in reverse who who really um, doesn't do much around the house. She really doesn't take care of herself, let alone the children or the household. And I feel she's really kind of manipulated the energy through a lot of um, sexual obsessions is what's coming through she's really tried to create a wedge between um, a masculine going towards um, a deep level of healing and a new beginning here so temperance energy there is something being woven behind the scenes there is the fates kind of working in in somebody's favor here um, this is some very heavy energy with the seven of cups five of swords and the empress um, reverse so there is a need here for a karmic feminine to to do some healing, to kind of learn her self-worth, her self-value, um, because the Empress Reverse quite often has affairs as well. So maybe there is going to be exposure when it comes to some infidelity in the energy, because the Queen of Wands can be very sexual and very passionate, and I feel it has created... Um, a lot of argumentative energy. So I would like to go a little bit deeper when it comes to this Queen of Swords. The Devil reversed, the King of Cups, Two of Swords reversed, Four of Cups reversed. So there is a masculine that does want a brand new beginning with this Queen of Swords. Um, there is going to be a new opportunity. This is somebody wanting to come back um, and praying and hoping that it's not a missed opportunity. So I feel a masculine energy here. That is breaking the chains of the devil, breaking free from any toxicity, any codependencies, addictions. Um, just, I feel a masculine here wrapped up in a lot of toxicity. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I feel he's ready to do whatever it takes to remove these blocks. To come back for a missed opportunity. I feel somebody here was grieving the loss of this feminine that is standing in such authentic energy. And I feel somebody here really is getting ready for that brand new beginning in love to break those toxic chains um, because this Queen of Swords um, will not tolerate um, anything less than authenticity. So I was asking about the Queen of Wands. We got the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Reverse, Page of Cups, Reverse. So bottom of the deck, the Emperor, if that ain't Divine Masculine. So... I do feel um, this Queen of Wands, without a doubt, does not know her value. There really is no reciprocation here. It's a false contract. I don't think there's any love here, but she is still trying to get the. She's still trying to get somebody to put in the work for a false foundation, and I feel it's created a lot of drama in and around a situation. I do feel um, somebody here really needs to learn how to mother themselves. I feel like a withdrawing of an invitation, perhaps a canceling of an engagement or broken committed partnership because the emperor and the empress usually is a committed partnership. But I feel a masculine here um, that is really determined uh, to go in the right direction. The emperor is given to command. He's given to take charge of his life and to do what is needed to be done to restore a sense of balance. And then we do have the Queen of Cups underneath. So there is, once again, a true pair on the board today. So Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So I feel this Empress reversed, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles reversed is all one kind of energy here. And, you know, I feel there's been a lack of truth when it comes to a lack of reciprocity, um, this unrequited love situation, putting on a false, um, a false, act for everybody I feel trying to create an illusion of a happy home when below the surface there isn't a whole lot of love there's a lot of fighting there's a lot of combative energy because this this feminine doesn't know her worth doesn't know her value and I feel she's clinging to control because she might have put a lot of work into this connection but there's been a lot of dishonesty I feel a masculine getting ready to lash out um, very well could be gaslighting, manipulation, and abuse here, mental and emotional abuse here. 
And there is a need to kind of gain a different perspective when it comes to these energies. There is a need to release the burden, to, to learn the lesson, to be able to break free and go in that new direction. So let's see what this Five of Swords is about. Nine of Swords reversed, Knight of Pentacles reversed, Fool reversed. Somebody was foolish. They got mixed up in a false foundation. Everything is crumbling. It can no longer be sustained. There is going to be a massive realignment. Um, a profit and a loss, and there is going to be the ending of a false commitment here with the Two of Cups reversed. They don't see eye to eye anymore. There's no more love here in this situation. I think it's purely out of financial stability, and there has been somebody here struggling to, you know, find that peace of mind, likely in a lot of deep, dark, depressive energy, stress, anxiety, not sleeping. There is somebody that has been unfaithful with the Knight of Pentacles reversed, that is going to withdraw. They're not putting in the work. They don't want to build on this anymore. They feel like they made a foolish decision and they want to go in a new direction. It is judgment day energy. It really is. So there is going to be a final judgment call made when it comes to a false foundation. Somebody here wants loyalty, loyalty in their life. Somebody here wants love. And where they've been at, they've been lacking that love and that mothering energy. The Queen of Cups truly is a loving, nurturing energy. And there's an emperor here that desperately needs some healing is what's coming through. So get ready um, for somebody to reach out, especially if you're this Queen of Swords energy or whoever you are in, in this reading. But I do see Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, pretty much everybody here once again. I think get ready for a new cycle to begin. There is a masculine that is preparing to take accountability to to speak that truth, to take ownership of a false connection, and to take action in a new direction. I feel somebody here is learning a painful lesson, um, gaining that deep enlightenment, that new perspective when it comes to breaking free from a false connection. I do feel um, perhaps total financial ruin when it comes to the crumbling of this false foundation in order for somebody to really put in the work to build a solid foundation with that stability. So... Let's see what else needs to come through with the Lover's Oracle when it comes to this message. Karmic relationship, absolutely. So there is a karmic relationship at play with that devil reversed. I think there's a lot of fleeting triggers in the energy today, a lot of inner turmoil, a lot of resentment, and I feel it's really time to learn the lesson and let this go. Let the fight go because... There is going to be a sudden change, a sudden um, turn of events, a surprise epiphany, shocking news, upheaval, without a doubt, major upheaval, in order for a masculine to surrender his ego and to embrace this level of transformation. Because soul contracts are, are at play today. There is a soul connection here that is coming together, a loyal, committed soul connection. And um, there is a soul contract agreement closing out in order for a new partnership to begin. So get ready for that phone call, for that message, because this masculine is getting ready to express his love and to send a message of love. I think somebody's been thinking about doing this for quite some time, and the time is now for this power, powerful shift to take place in order for somebody to restore a sense of passion in their life. So close off the read with a couple crystal stone deck messages. What else can you tell me when it comes to this reading today? Shiva Lingham, and we have Copper today. So I do feel somebody is preparing to kind of go all in. I think there might have been fear in the past, and there's definitely been a lot of illusions, and I do feel the illusions are being destroyed in the energies today. So a masculine can seek that deeper sense of enlightenment and to really um, transform his life. I feel somebody really got trapped up in their ego and likely was feeling really small in a connection with a feminine that was very controlling and manipulative. And I feel somebody's getting ready to take back their power from this life-sucking force um, that's been draining him. I feel um, a feminine that's been like sucking a masculine dry of his energy, his finances. And I feel a masculine getting ready to break free and go all in in a new direction. Um, because I feel the, the energy really is intensifying and really pushing for communication, for reciprocity. So I do feel somebody's getting ready to pack up and move homes is what's coming through to ship out for good once and for all and to step into this renewed energy to finally move on and cut those toxic cords 
and the bottom of the deck we have celestite so I do feel this is a very delicate situation I feel a masculine that's ready to approach this feminine and adorn her with all kinds of love and um, and affection because I feel somebody here feels like they've been locked out of heaven in this karmic connection and they really just want to be taken to a peaceful place of serenity. And I feel um, once this masculine breaks free, he's going to be able to find that peace and that calm again. I do feel um, somebody getting ready to step into the spiritual pathway. Um, and I feel the energy is pulling somebody out of this karmic situation in order to elevate higher, in order to um, break free from this whole um, toxic situation, I think. Um, somebody is getting ready to to come forward um, perhaps a Sagittarius as well but I feel somebody is you know tapping in to the totality of what's been going on around them when it comes to their human consciousness when it comes um, to this false connection and this feminine energy chasing and clinging to control and I feel somebody's getting ready to pull the plug on that toxic situation in order to go towards a new co-creative journey. I think change in the wind, massive changes on the horizon because somebody's getting sick and tired of going round and round in the same vicious cycle of manipulation, perhaps infidelities. And I feel the time is now for truth and there's been a lack of truth in the energy. So that's what I got for a message today, guys. I hope this resonated. If it did and you would like to book a personal reading, Please feel free to check out the information box below and I look forward to seeing you all again next time.